Hey, it's another week, another recipe, and we are back with another mock recipe that is nothing like its namesake. Come join me in the kitchen and tell me what I did wrong to screw this up so bad. Hey everyone, welcome back to my kitchen. My name is Courtney Morris, and I cook history's forgotten recipes out of random cookbooks I find and sometimes websites. If you are new here and just joining us, I hope you enjoy this video. Please hit the subscribe button and join our community, and I hope you enjoy it. If you are coming back for more, Thank you, as always. All right, let's get into it. All right, so we are back with another mock recipe. I've been having some fun with these in the past couple videos and they actually were pretty surprising, so why not do another one? And the last couple videos I've done, they've actually turned out really well. I figured it's high time for something weird. So we're gonna try mock crab, and I don't know how on earth you get eggs and cheese to simulate crab, I'm, I'm, I'm not building myself up to be excited about this because crab is my number one go-to seafood. I love it so much. Um, but this just kind of sounds like cheesy scrambled eggs to me, but we shall see. I'm not gonna knock it until I try it. And got to put on my 1940s wartime helmet here and remember that we're trying to make something out of nothing that's kind of normal. <laughs> kind of is the key word. Okay, so one thing that I need to do before I start this is it calls for a dessert spoonful of salad dressing. Now, salad dressing to an American is like, when you first read it, it's like what kind? Italian, French, Thousand Island, Ram? I mean, you go to an American supermarket, you get an entire aisle of salad dressing. Thankfully, I perused a little farther in the book and actually found a recipe for it. Otherwise, I think I would just use mayo. All right, so quickly here, household milk is powdered milk. One tablespoon of that and a tablespoon of dried egg powder. I feel terrible using this because they are so expensive right now. It is incredibly expensive for dried eggs. So I feel a little bad, but you know what? It's okay. It's for science or entertainment. I'm not sure which one it is. More entertainment probably. Half teaspoon of salt, a little pepper, and a little dried mustard. Tablespoon of water and two tablespoons of vinegar. Ah. It says mix well and beat smooth, and it turns out thinner than a mayo, but um, more like just a, a creamy salad dressing. Mmm, that tastes like vinegar. But it says it is important that no less than the above amount of vinegar should be used. So, <laughs> you guys like that on salad? I mean, all right. I like a good vinegar dressing, but wow. Okay, all right. So you will have to excuse the state of my cookware. If this channel ever grows big enough to ever make money, first thing I'm doing is buying a whole new set of these because they're they're old but still usable so you know okay so it says melt uh, melt a half an ounce of margarine in a saucepan and I don't have margarine we had a freezer apocalypse a while ago and my margarine died and I just have not gotten it again because I don't ever use it aside from these old recipes so I'm gonna use butter oh well I'm gonna pretend it's margarine so half an ounce of butter I could weigh this but this is four ounces Half is two, half of that is one, half of that is a tablespoon. So one tablespoon of butter it is for margarine. I'm gonna turn it on to medium, which on my dial is about a three, four. It goes up to five and then max, so I don't wanna burn anything. And then while that is melting, I'm supposed to beat two eggs or two reconstituted dry eggs. And for the sake of dried eggs being expensive, I think I'm only going to use it in the salad dressing because I've got a lot of eggs on hand from our chickens anyways. I'm going to just pretend that I have an egg ration. Okay, so I beat those. I'm going to set it aside because my butter is not all the way melted quite yet. And it sounds like I'm going to have to work fairly quickly because it says to put in, put in the egg and scramble till half set and then add the other ingredients. So I think I need to be ready with this. So, one ounce cheese. So one ounce grated cheese came out to about a loosely stuffed three quarters of a cup. I'm using cheddar because that's what I got. 
I don't know what other kinds you, you could probably use whatever else you wanted. And I'm assuming this, this tech is going to be our crab texture. Cause you know, if you have like a crab salad, it gets kind of stringy. It's not mushy or melty or anything like that. I'm guessing that's what's going to be making our um, crab. It also says a few drops of vinegar. Um, so I'm just going to put like, I don't know, that might be five drops of vinegar. I don't know if that's too much. This salad dressing over here is already, yeah. Okay, so now I'm a little, I'm a little scared. I don't want to overcook it. So I don't have it on a high heat. It's just on medium. And I need to add the well-beaten eggs to my melted margarine. I need to scramble until half set. So I'm assuming that means until still kind of shiny. I think that's about half set right there. Still shiny, not all the way cooked, but firm. Okay, and just in case I took the, I'm taking this off the heat. Um, okay, so then it says add in the other ingredients. So a dessert spoonful of salad dressing drops of vinegar, salt and pepper, pinch of salt, this makes me nervous, pepper, Ooh, losing it, and my one ounce of cheese. How is this mock, how, I mean what happened, mm. how and why is my question. It's cheesy scrambled eggs. Unless I am doing something very wrong here. But if I'm going off this recipe verbatim, okay, um, well, let's transfer it. All right, and then you're supposed to serve it on toast or crackers. All I've got is English muffins right now, which I don't think actually are English, but they're uh, the American version of crumpets. I wonder how many people got tired of things being called other things when they sure did not look like it. You watched my filet of fish, fish mock fish patty recipe from a couple videos ago. I'm okay with calling that a mock fish patty because it looked like it, it tasted like it, it was pretty dang good. But I mean, this looks like something I make for breakfast anyways, just scrambled eggs on toast. I don't why would you call it? And maybe it tastes like crab. Maybe the this concoction makes this taste like it. All right, well, I mean, here goes nothing. Take two bites. First one's always a shock to your taste buds. Let's try it again. Oh, I want to. So. That didn't help. It does not say to cool this off. It says serve as a standard sandwich filling or on hot toast or over mashed potatoes. Therefore, the cheese is going to melt. So my hypothesis that the cheese would be creating that crab texture is being thrown out the window. So that was wrong. Not to mention, I'm not sure I could eat cold egg like that. I mean, hard boiled, yeah. Scrambled, no, mm. mm, I don't think so. The texture is a little fluffy for me. I am also, I'm, you know, not a fluffy egged kind of texture person. So that part is partly my problem. Uh, however, the cheese that's in here that's melted mixed with that fluffy, almost undercooked egg, plus this, I think this is throwing it for me. This, I, sure, I could do on a salad. I'd get used to it. Great, it might taste good with nothing. It kind of sounds like paint thinner, honestly. Um, it's just not, not good. Now, edible, yes. If you're starving, this is all you've got. Of course, that, you know what, fine. But why not just make scrambled eggs and an English muffin or toast? I give props, I give props for creativity. It's kind of like going to a museum where they have just odd things. I remember going into the Boise Art Museum one time as a high schooler and one entire room was decorated with rotting carrots hanging from fishing line. 
from the ceiling and that was the exhibit that was it and it smelled bad it looked bad and it was just kind of one of those why there's so many better use for carrots so i suppose in the name of creativity and art mock crab in an existential sort of abstract artistic manner i don't want this if you have ever tried this or if you have ever eaten it or you grew up eating it um, and you have a better version of this or i'm humble enough to say i may have done this wrong but verbatim out of that i'm not sure what i could have done different um would you please leave me a comment and tell me what it was i did wrong or if there's a better way to do this well you win some you lose some and in this case uh, my chickens just won that one i lost completely but i did say i wanted something weird again we were up for something weird because sometimes they turn out but if you are still here and you've made it this far thank you so much for sticking with me through this um experiment <laughs> anyways Click the little like button if you enjoyed this. I know it helps the algorithm reach more people. I think that's how that works. And I would love to build this little community we've got going here. I'm loving talking with you guys. Leave me a comment, send me a recipe. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you once again for supporting this little channel I've got going. It's so much fun and I absolutely love it and speaking with you guys. And if you want to watch a mock recipe that's actually really good, check out the fish filet video I mentioned earlier. It is so good. It was surprising. Definitely a carbo load for sure, but pretty surprising. It was pretty good. I hope you have a great week. I will see you next Monday with a new historical recipe experiment, and hopefully next time it'll be a little better. All right. I'll see you later.